<laughs> Hi, this is Christy from Sapphire Skies Farm, and we are checking out our baby goats that we hopefully will be bringing home. Oh, isn't it so cute? <laughs> Ruby, you want to hold this baby? No. No? Clarky, you want to hold this baby? Yeah. Hold it. Okay, put your hands out. Yes, yes, yes. All right, Clarky, you got that go. <laughs> Do you want to put it down? You can put it right here and let it play. <laughs> Do you love it? Pet that goat. <laughs> My kids are all scared of the goats. <laughs> Except for you. Oh, look how cute. Are they on the Mommy. trampoline? I know, this guy likes to eat my pants. <laughs> He's trying to eat them. Are you trying animals. to eat my pants? Huh? Trying to eat you too. Was he trying to eat you? He's trying to eat my skin. <laughs> They're so cute. I love them. Ruby, do you love how tiny they are? <laughs> Those goats are smaller than the chickens. <laughs> are you going to try to pet it? Pick it up, pick it up. Be fast. Oh, so cute. <laughs> You want to get that guy? It's a girl. Speedy. Oh, it's so cute, little baby. Oh, really? You like me, huh? You like me. You like me. Yeah. He also likes me. He's been climbing on me so much since I got here. It still has the umbilical cord? Cute. That is so cute. How much older is this guy? This girl? Oh, not much. Wow. Do you love those babies? No, not us. Oh, Where's the goat with them? Be fast. Here, I'll get it for you. I'll get it for you. Ruby, did you get it? Yeah. What do you think? Oh. It's okay. It's just her mommy. I think I want to go down. You do. <laughs> yep, it definitely did. Hi, little one. You're so little, tiny, tiny. It kind of hurt my arm. Did it? They're more like the abs. Yeah. Yeah. More abs stuff. Yeah. Jacqueline, hi. Jacqueline, hi. Is he eating my shirt again? Okay, look at it. Check this guy out. Jamie, eat me. Jamie, eat me. Booga, 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 booga. Okay, I can't lie. I love those babies. So cute. <clears throat> um, so we are trying to decide if we would get the mommy goat and one baby or if we would get the just two of the babies so um my kids are like really skittish around the big goats so one thought was that if we started with the babies that by the time the babies got big they would 
like just be used to them, you know, like from being around them all the time. Um, but of course I would really rather have the milk right away. So it's just this thing that I'm like sitting right now out in my garden after coming home from playing with these goats all day and trying to decide which one is the best option. <laughs> I mean, so those baby goats, they'll be a few months when we bring them home, two months old. And right now I think they're only like two weeks old. So they'll grow a little bit, the babies, but they won't grow that much. Like it will take quite some time for them to get big, right? So <clears throat> one benefit of having the babies to start is that we like don't have to rush to get such security, like such, we don't have to be so careful about how our fencing is to keep them in, just trying to keep predators out. So a nice secure space for them at night. And then, um, I mean, obviously we don't want predators during the day, but we don't really have a problem with predators during the day here. So it's more the nighttime predators. So of course, either way, we'd have to do a nighttime secure enclosure. But during the day, they can kind of roam around the yard like a dog, you know, um, since we're all fenced. <clears throat> but if I get a full grown goat, I have to be a little bit more cautious because they could probably figure out our other fences more, you know. Um, so that's one thought. But if we get the mama goat, we'll be able to milk her right away and start having milk. But, you know, there's some extra things you have to have for a milking mom. You have to have the um, milking table and um, but yeah, there's just other things. Like, I don't even know yet. I still have to do all my research, right? So there's a lot to take in. <laughs> so anyways, I'll just turn this around and let you guys see my beautiful view. I'm just really enjoying sitting here and enjoying the garden. So my tomatoes are all getting bushy. I need to come in and prune them all. We got six inches of rain yesterday and so, and then like days of rain before that. So I haven't really had a chance to come out and work in the garden as much as I'd like to. Um, today I went ahead and planted all these bales all the way across, all the way, hello Diet Coke, behind there, all the way across. You can see my yellow cups going. So I did a lot of planting today, but oh, so much to do still. The kids were home for spring break this week, which was great, but it rained pretty much every day. And so that's like so stressful, like going from like homeschooling and like unexpected, right? COVID-19, unexpected homeschooling. Um, so I was like looking forward to spring break, how much I'd get done in the yard and like the different spaces that we would be able to like start working on we have to put together our turkey pen our rabbit's hutch needs to get raised up um, our baby chicks have outgrown their brooder they need a bigger space and a way to get used to um, the big chickens so they're gonna move in with our laying hens but they kind of need like to spend some time next to each other you know getting used to each other and so um, we were going to be putting together some plan for how we were going to do that. Anyways, just so much rain for days and days. In fact, yesterday when we, when we were at five inches of rain in one day, we were fine. But then we hit the six inches of rain and it started coming in our house, which is never fun. It's just not, it's not good. <laughs> So we spent a lot of the day yesterday taking care of that and then the duck coop, duck and geese coop got flooded and the chicken coop was like a swimming pool. They have like a spot where they make a dust bath and that had all filled in with water. It was just so much water. So I did all this like trench digging to let the water flow away and you know, anyways, so there's never a dull moment when you got a home 
you know, and then you add the animals to it, and wow, it's crazy. <sighs> well, let's just show you this fun thing that I found this week. So my Romanesco broccoli is new for me. I've never grown it before, and it's flowering, and, well, I guess it's the buds of the flower, right? So I'm actually going to go pick it right now. I thought you might want to come with me and go see it. Come on. So I've got two bowls here and my kitchen scissors and I'm just going to head over. This is one of the um, Romanesco broccolis, but it hasn't got a flower going in it yet. Mm. This is the asparagus I just planted yesterday, two days ago, the day before six inches of rain. It was pouring rain still though and I'm out here like putting together these bricks. I used these bricks because um, the hose then will have somewhere to um, like get stuck on instead of getting stuck on the plant. I've had that happen too much. Like, see this guy right here? This um, borage. Yeah, we don't, we don't want that to happen to my <laughs> artichoke. And there's the other artichoke. Artichoke need to be six feet apart. So this bale was four feet wide and then I added the extra foot on each side they might be a little bit closer than six feet but that's what space I got and then I put another one in over here all by itself and I got three more I got to find homes for you know hey pregnant kitty hey pregnant kitty when are you gonna have your babies when are you gonna have your babies we're excited for this this is flames <laughs> my eight-year-old named it and flames is gonna have babies soon she's got like some nice some nice pregnant little belly growing all right let's go find this heads of broccoli okay so here's one this one's still a little bit small I'll probably wait a little bit on that one so um, when I bought the seeds for this, I knew that it was called Romanesco broccoli, but I didn't realize it was closer to a cauliflower than a broccoli. So, see that? It's kind of crazy. It's really pretty. Now, I don't know why it's purple, because all the pictures show that it wasn't purple. Picture showed it looked more like this one. And this is what I expected it to look like, you know? So this one I think still will get a little bit bigger. I love the way it does this like spiral thing. Let me see if I can get in here. You can see the spiral that goes down. It's really cool. Oh. <laughs> Eating some grasses. Little kitty kitty. Let's see. Did I see this one already? Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, this one's gonna come in. Yeah, this guy growing up big like that. Alright, let's chop away. So ideally I would have come out before all this rain and picked this one, but I did not know you're we gonna get that much rain that crazy that quick. So alright, so you can see down here. You want to go ahead and chop down here. Ooh, get mad. Just get mad. Mm, that's gonna be tasty. Okay, so usually you want that head to be a little bit tighter. See how it's starting to loosen up. So the reason why you want to get it earlier than this is because of aphid infestation. Not gonna change the flavor in any way. It's just gonna keep these guys right there and finding their way inside. But the nice thing is that that rain probably washed a lot of those away. I can see a couple inside, but I'll just wash them off, you know? So putting it in. And I'm actually gonna take this little one that I accidentally snipped. Where'd you go? <laughs> doop, doop, doop. And then we gotta get this big one that went in here. Because it is also starting to. So, let's get in there real good. 
I'm gonna have to put this down. Sorry guys. I didn't bring my tripod out. There we go. So I got my scissors in there nice and good. Cutting that head away. Ta-da! So lovely. The smell, oh my goodness, it smells so delicious. So we are gonna eat these tomorrow. And the last thing I need to get out here is we've got all this little tiny like broccoli flower heads that are starting to sprout up. I'm just gonna throw this under there. Oh, and chop away and let them drop. <laughs> you gonna eat some of that? <laughs> And so this is good for like, we like to make cheesy broccoli rice, so we will, hey, cat, we will probably make some of that with this, because that is just little tiny heads of broccoli. So I thought my broccoli season was totally done. We pulled a whole bunch out that had gone to seed, but because I had chopped some of it really far back... Um, and didn't let it go all the way to seed. And then we got cold weather again, which was kind of a surprise. Then that little bit of cold weather just made some of these little flowers come back out. And by cold weather, I mean, ooh, 60s. <laughs> because we are in San Diego. Because we are in San Diego and it just does not get that cold. I have friends in like Michigan and Idaho and Utah and they just got a whole bunch of snow. Even a friend of mine is in the mountains of Southern California and she got snow this past week when we got all our rain. So all of my growing of broccoli, I always thought that if it had flowered that then you couldn't eat it but I recently have done more research and I was going off just my husband's word he said that you can't eat it if it goes to flower so I feel like I've spent a lot of my life wasting broccoli that could have been eaten but oh well live and learn right so this will take a long time you don't have to stay here <laughs> I'll get a couple more and then turn this off but yeah, technically you can eat the flower parts. We probably won't eat the flower parts, but just because my kids are picky like that, but maybe they will. Sometimes, sometimes I can get them to try something new and crazy. So while we have been looking for the perfect goats, we ended up also getting some bunnies. So I have a friend who's about to have a baby and it's her fourth and she had this really cute bunny and I was telling her I would die to have a bunny. Their poop is so good for the garden and she said I could have her bunny. So we got her bunny and then we found a little boy bunny for it and so it's a girl that's one and a boy that's just a couple months old. And we'll be, we'll be making some baby bunnies, you know what I mean? Um, so I have a few things in the garden that they will eat. And some of that is this flower or broccoli leaves. So I'm going to chop some of these broccoli leaves for the bunnies because that will make them so happy. So here we go. And these are not that big. In fact, maybe I'll give them some of that Romanesco. Over here, I had planted some Romanesco, but I don't think that this one's gonna get big enough to really grow before my corn needs to be popping up because I sp I'm sprouting corn underneath here. Let's see, here's the tops of a corn. 
So this summer, this will all be corn. So all of this is going to have to come out. But this one is growing ahead. So I'll leave that one just a little bit longer. Like this one, it's just not going to do it. So this will be good food for our bunnies. I'll chop some of these lower leaves and feed them to the bunnies. Our bunnies are Rex bunnies and they are all white. And I'll have to go let you see them when I feed them. Let's see, what else can we get for them to eat? Oh, I know. I bet they'd like a little kale. I'm just kind of looking bad and sad. Anyways, I don't know if I'll eat these, but I'll throw them in there. They're not looking fantastic. But there is a little teeny tiny flower head growing in there. Okay, let's see. We'll give them a little bit of kale. This kale has a little bit of bug damage, so we'll give them some of that. Because bunnies don't care. Here's one. Oh, see? that uh, is a corn right there too so this is all gonna end up having to come out so I'm gonna make sure I'm eating from over here before I'm eating from the other side because I want my corn to thrive I will actually plant a three sisters garden here that's where you do corn that grows up pole beans that grow up the corn and they the pole beans fertilize the soil and then the um, Underneath all of that, you put squash or you can do melons, anything that trails along the ground. And um, that actually acts as a mulch for the corn and the green beans. And then the corn is great for um, all three because their roots are really big. And in my area, we have a lot of gophers. And so the corn because their roots are so much bigger, the gophers kind of steer away from that area and um, I'm able to grow in the ground um, where I'm not usually able to do that in that area. So my pumpkins and my squashes last year just did so great. Uh, oops, sorry, I just saw a predator bird. Um, yeah, and so then I also put sunflowers all around the outside, and it's just like magic. I love it. So that will be what's going on where I'm at right now. In the summer. Okay, so this is where I just finished chopping some stuff for those bunnies. Last thing I'm going to get some beet tops. I'm not a super fan of beet tops. It's just not my thing. I love the beets but not the bead tops. And these have bug damage anyways, so it's perfect. I don't even feel guilty. And those bunnies will be so happy. <laughs> this cat, <laughs> every time I come out to the garden, she just wants to hang out. Are you getting all those gophers? Yeah, she is. The answer is yes. She's doing a phenomenal job. Oh, that one's attached. All right, bunny salad right there. Look at this cute guy that came out to help me. Yes. Okay, so what is your feelings on the goats, Tyler? I think cost effective. The Talk loud so we can hear you. Cost effective, it's gonna be the mom and the baby. Uh, it's up to our kids, it's two babies. I know, see, that's where I'm like, I kind of think like practicality, getting the mom and the baby is the best idea, but the kids are going to just go goo goo for gaga over the two babies. They'll have people vote online and see. Mm. Okay, so Tyler has decided it is up to you guys. Do you think it is better to get the cutie, cutie, cute babies, two babies, or 
one baby and a milking mom goat. <sighs> Vote for us. Put it in the comments. Tell me what you know if you know more than I do. Help this mama out. I can't decide. <laughs> okay, I was just walking by this duck enclosure and I just wanted to share the sad, happy, sad, happy, happy, sad news that we are eating duck tomorrow. Roast duck for Easter. And what that means is that that mean duck that used to come and attack me all the time is no longer. We just have the one boy, so I'll give you a second to check him out. Hey there, Donald. You gonna make a jump for it? <laughs> so this guy came and hung out with me in the garden all day while my husband was processing the other duck. And he actually seems really happy. The other duck was really mean and kind of abusive to this guy. This guy's name is Donald. And I think Donald is finally able to like be his own self, you know? And he was really nice. He like hung out with me, followed me all over the yard. This guy likes to follow Tyler around. He's just a really pleasant guy compared to the mean Scrooge. So we'll happily keep this guy just part of our farm. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to head up to those bunnies. So I have their salad. Doesn't that look tasty? Bunny salad. <laughs> and I got to close this gate. Just in case you never know who I'm keeping in or out. Um... Yeah, let's go see those bunnies. Okay, I'm here. They're so cute. You're gonna love them. Hey, bunnies, 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 bunnies. So the baby is two months old. It's a boy. And this is the female. And she is a little over a year old. So cute. And look, they're like, are you giving me that food? Do you see that food? Do you want some of that? Do you want some of that? Just don't try to escape. Look at this nice big piece of... Give you all that yumminess. Not you, kitty kitty. Sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, they love it. Not you, kitty. You can't have those bunnies. I know you want them. This cat. She's like, wait, what's up with that? Last one. Going in. So these guys are just in here for the day. We um we have like a buddy hutch, but we wanted to give them a chance to like get to know each other a little bit better and they're like in separate areas, like not where the boy sleeps or where the girl sleeps. They did not come from the same home because we were planning to breed them. Um, yeah, so today they did really great. I wasn't sure how it would work out. I was worried they might fight or something, but they have gotten along so good. So I think tonight they will go both into the bunny enclosure. And then who knows when we'll get baby bunnies. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye, bunnies. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing our um, future goats. We have officially decided that these will be our goats um, and they will be coming to our farm early June. So that's exciting. Um, we just have to decide if we want the two babies or if we want mom and the baby. So feel free to vote, help us decide. 
I hope you had a chance today to get outside, get your hands dirty, and enjoy some sunshine. Bye.